Nobody around the liquor store on a lower part of town. Nobody OD and nobody to shoot nobody down. And everybody just loved to gather in the good old USA. We sure could use a little good news today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ann Murray this morning. Uh, my Canadian sister. Um, and uh, thank you for those lyrics. I mean, that song. I don't really remember if you wrote it or not, but um, I like the way you sang it. But uh, we sure could use a little good news today. Check this out, y'all. Um, this 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 video right here. This comes from one of my um, faithful uh, YouTube subscribers, um, Universo. Uh, she actually was asking me, well, they were asking me, um, you know, how was the coronavirus here, you know, and what's up with it? Is it spreading? Um, you know, are we in fear of it? And first of all, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Besides the birds f flu, the swine flu, the... What was the one, uh, the little bunnies running around, the, the rabbit flu, you know, I'm just really sick of it, you know, really, and this has the potential to just, as it looks like, to just wipe people the out in just big droves, and to me, it's just the Trilateral Commission at work, um, the citizens, what is it, uh, uh no, the, um, the Council of 300, Figuring out how to get rid of our asses and we just not dying fast enough on one hand because the pharmaceuticals and all them, want, they want to keep us alive. Oh, I mean, it's just a ball of confusion. That's why you can't get all wrapped up in it. But it is a struggle for your sanity. That I can tell you. This war right here, it, this, this, it ain't going to be won. Um, and the battle's going to be, first of all, it's a, a mind screw. And it's a really a battle to keep your mind and your body um, in balance. Not like Oprah did the other day. Because <laughs> I, I certainly believe Michael tripped her. Michael was like, e -e -e -e. that was his, um, that was his uh, mischievous side. Yeah, he tripped her. That's why she did like this. So, um, as she was saying, rightfully so, we got to keep our balance. You know, because this 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 shit is crazy. So, in my state, they had 21 people under investigation. Um, they, 18 of them tested positive. Two on two of them, according to the Wisconsin Department of Human Services, two cases are pending. One is positive, and 18 was negative. Okay, and that's how they um that's how it's faring in my state. In terms of the coronavirus. But, you know, this has a potential to do a lot of damage. And I want to know what y'all think about this coronavirus. Have y'all had any outbreaks in y'all state where y'all at? And, um, you know, are you in a, are you in a, you know, freak out mode? Because it is a pandemic. We can see it. I mean, what in the hell is really going on? <laughs> and, um... I don't know, I can't break this down by race or anything like that, or I just know that they say it comes from Wuhan, China. Uh, a lot of people are associating with the bat eating. Uh, some people, you know, a lot of people like to eat exotic animals to do exotic things, you know, and over there they eat a lot of kind of wild stuff, in my opinion, anyway. So they might say the same thing about me and, or us over here, but what I'm saying, in my opinion, they, they eat a lot of stuff and just like we do, because we're big, uh, a lot of us over here are big copycats, and we do whatever the European does. So those who have copied this um, animal eating uh, bullcrap have come up with, you know, they kind of link it into a bat. 
So I, you know, what's up? What's really going on? But this has concerned me because it was too crazy. And that's Pope Francis has been tested for coronavirus after being unable to attend a number of events because he wasn't feeling good. The 83-year-old head of the Catholic Church who often comes into close contact with uh, the public when he blesses them was looking under a little bit under the weather last week during Ash Wednesday. And he kept wiping his nose and coughing with a cloth. Dabbing his nose with a cloth, I'm sorry. The following day, he was unable to attend Mass. He was due to celebrate um, at the Arch uh, Basilica of St. John Lateran in Rome, marking the start of Lent. <laughs> that is sick. Matteo Bruni the Holy See Press Office Director said last Thursday that the Pope has stayed close to Santa Marca where he lives at the Vatican due to the slight imposition of the Catholic News Agency. Um, the Pope also was, given a, was unable to give a speech at the Apostolic Palace and had to cancel two other audiences. Listen to that, the Apostolic Palace. I bet it ain't nothing like the apostolic faith churches I know. No, Jesus, no, no. I bet you they don't be rolling like that up in there. <laughs> I know. Because, see, the apostolic faith churches I know, that's why I grew up in, I already know. No. Mm -mm. The apostolic palace. Uh-uh. Anyway, during his next major public appearance on Sunday, he told the faithful gathered at, at the uh, square that for the first time in his papacy, that he would not be able to attend the Lent with senior Vatican officials. He said, unfortunately, a cold prevents me from participating this year. Okay? But, I will be in follow, I'll be in meditation from there. Anyway, they're worried about the Pope. You know, and so far, he seems a little bit under the weather. Several towns have been have faced lockdown and public spaces have been closed. However, the Italian health officials said that they were confident that the outbreak could be contained. Hmm, really, huh? The head of Italy's National Health Institute, Silvio Brunfremlo, said Monday at the end of the, um, excuse me, y'all, at the end of the week, we will understand if and how much containment measures put in place have slowed down this virus. I am looking for my uh, dog. I see one. I don't see the other one. So, maybe it's around the front. We expect positive results, however. I'm optimistic. Anyway, you know, that's pretty old be 83 years old and starting to cough and, you know, having these symptoms of the um, coronavirus. The CT something strand, 18, whatever. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty diabolical. But, you know, these demons go into the laboratories and create all types of stuff. It has, it's under the knowledge of health of experts that the configuration of the AIDS virus is man-made. Okay? Ain't no monkey did nothing. No person has sex with a gorilla. You know, a black person, of course you already know. But, no. This configuration, this strand was done in a hospital. In the laboratory. With some wicked, wicked white demons. Elite. Um, or if they had some black trolls in there with them, I mean, who, you know, what the, the, the point I'm trying to make is the configuration of that disease is not a natural configuration. It was concocted just like this damn Corona probably, who knows? I don't know, but you know, but if people are eating bats and drinking bat soup, what the hell you expect? Anyway. I'm just going to go on somewhere and know that when it's time for God to call me home. Um, and I, I just want to make sure I fulfill my purpose. 
You understand what I'm saying here? Because you only here for a short time. You passing through. And you better get that through your mind. Because the, the wicked inhabits this place right here. So if you can go out and find a circle of peace for yourself, honor it. If you can go out and find love, honor it. Okay? Alright. So with that being said, let me know what y'all think about this damn coronavirus. Has it hit your state? You you know, is it anything um, scary about it? Is it close? Um, and, and another thing, in, in my state, they won't say where. They just say in Wisconsin. We just like, well, where are the outbreaks at? They like, none of your damn business. We don't tell you. Just know that it's happening. So, see, you know, you got this kind of stuff going on, and which causes people to freak out and panic. So, you know, that's what they want, because that'll kill a, a, another few hundred thousand right there, right? Okay, because they got it all sold up. They got it all sold up. It's a battle. <laughs> it's a battle for your for your sanity. As I stated before. But let me know what you think. Alright? And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.